Okay. Well, we want to welcome everyone to the new clientele night. This is the Team Jonathan call, basically, where uh, tonight we get a chance to actually meet and hear from some of the people that have come on our team lately. We've had a lot of great experiences, and the new ones seem to come in the store, come come right into the uh, door, and they're having some great experiences. Alex, uh, I want you to I want to welcome Alex, who's my co-host tonight. And uh, Alex is up in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Really, he's in Clemson. I'm in uh, Atlanta, Georgia area, but I'm in Decatur, Georgia. So perhaps to get us started, we could just say hello to everyone. If anyone want to say hello and introduce themselves and tell where you're from, uh, it's an open forum tonight. And we're looking forward to hearing your experiences as well as uh, your comments. So it's open. Who would like to introduce themselves to the... Marie, Cincinnati, Ohio. Marie, good to have you here from Cincinnati, Ohio. Thank you. Okay, we have, uh, okay, Marie has two devices on, I think. Uh oh. Oh, least, oh so, okay, there's someone else have two devices on. All right. Uh, my name is Bernard Dean. Um, actually, I came into this uh, company actually through being a customer, just like most of you. Uh, I've been in a, I've been with uh, Engage Global now for uh, since last July. I had Jonathan Jones, a friend of mine, would uh, introduce me to the products. He kept encouraging me to try the products. Many of you, just like me, when we first hear about products, we get introduced to so many products that we don't um, usually jump when people introduce us to new things because we've become accustomed to whatever traditional medicines or whatever we're on. But with me, I've always been interested in natural things, but it's not too many things out here I've been impressed with. Well, they mentioned Jonathan kept telling me about Engage Global. He kept specifically mentioning the point of microdaily. And microdaily, um, I, I'd heard a little bit about it, but I wasn't really that interested. But eventually, actually, I decided, along with my wife, to actually try the product. My first week and a half trying micro daily was absolutely phenomenal. When I say phenomenal, I just started taking it up. And if I decide I'm going to do something, I'm pretty committed to it, dedicated to it. So I was taking it uh, twice a day. Uh, I had the micro daily EMF and uh, I started taking that along. Well, I decided to get the uh, premium. So I had the micro daily, the collagen and the brain boost. And after I started taking it for about two weeks, I, I know um, as a firefighter, former firefighter, as well as a, I'm a paramedic, I started noticing I was getting a little bit of energy. My wife and I was walking around the block three times every other day. And I noticed after about a month, I started walking further and further and further. The next thing I knew, I was actually walking three miles. And my wife has a little walker that tells how far you walk. I actually started working three miles every other day. Now, what was significant about this? What was significant was I didn't just come off the fire department because of retirement uh, age. I came off because I got hurt on the fire. And I had my quads were totally separated. My leg at the knee went out straight um, uh, horizontal. To, and and the results were also my, my um, Achilles heel on my right foot was totally separated. So what I did was I went to the hospital. I, I wound up in the uh, ICU because of the internal bleed. And when I came out, I retired because of the circumstance. And it was very difficult for me every day, being in pain every day. So when I got microdale, I had no inkling that this was a new journey that would lead me to where I am today. So as, after I started taking the products, I started feeling better and better and better. I called Jonathan up and I said, you know, something about these products is different than anything that I've ever used. And the results were, I started, I actually turned it over to Alex. I, I called Alex Holcomb, a friend of mine, because I wanted to make sure that I didn't have what they call um, uh, mentally. I'm just thinking, eh, this thing is working. So I said, well, let me, let me talk to a friend of mine, which is Alex Holcomb, and let me send him some products. And let's see whether uh, Alex feel any difference. And Alex, when I sent you the products, what happened? Unmute, Alex. Well, after you had told me about the company and uh, what you were doing, and uh, you said, uh, this made me feel so good. 
However, it wasn't until either you or Jonathan mentioned that we got a we got a product called Brain Boost. I say, really? I want to hear about that one. Tell me about that one. All right. And then eventually I got that product um, a couple of days later. I tried it. And uh, the next day I had a presentation to make. And uh, in the presentation, usually I would come across a point where I would get a little confused. I never lost where I was, but I would get a little confused. Okay, now this is part A, this is part B. But at that moment, after I took that brain boost that morning, I only took one capsule. It was so powerful. I had an epiphany right there on the stage. My mind went from foggy to super clear, focused and sharp. Now, mind you, I had tried other brain products before coming, uh, learning about brain boost from uh, Engage Global. But this, it was something I had never experienced before in any products. And I had to take a second look because the rest of the presentation I was making, it worked out just fantastic. And, and it's been on key ever since because I take these brain boosts every day. And uh, I love being sharp, observant, and quick. And that's what it did for me. But there are other products too that uh, I started to take, like the eye boost. I always had really good eyesight, but my good eyesight greatly improved. I was I was so happy about that. And uh because I, I never wore glasses and I already decided I will never wear glasses. Well now with this eye boost, it has put the ceiling on my determination. And um and of course there were other good results from just the micro daily itself. The, the those little capsules, they're powerful. One of the immediate effects for me, I started getting into a deep sleep. I mean, I the sleep was so deep. I went back in time in my dreams, like when I was a, a much younger man, whereas now I'm pushing the past retirement. I was having dreams dream like I was back a, a young teenager. I would wake up in the morning, man, I want to go play, play basketball because that's always been my love. And that, it didn't used to be that way. And I would wake up and it would be like, hey, okay, it's time to do something else now. It was no, uh, I need another hour. Man. This is... No, it was like, okay, we're done. Let's go. And I said, wow, I love it. So there's so many things, Bernard, but I'm going to tell you, this is like a fountain of youth. Let me end with that note. Well, I, I said the same thing, Alex. Uh, I, everybody asked me, well, what is it so outstanding? I said, well, every day I wake up, I feel like a teenager. And it's kind of funny because um, I was out doing some volunteer work not too long ago and there's a bunch of steps and everyone refused to go up the steps uh to the place i was going and i said i said well i go up the steps and i went up and what was interesting it was going almost straight up and i was doing it without actually having to hold on to the rails and when i came back down everybody looked at me was like man you're in good shape <laughs> and of course i want to i want to well actually if you got on micro daily and you got on the system that uh, you'll be able to go up those steps too. But in time, I'll uh, hopefully be able to introduce it to some more people. So this is Alex and my uh, personal story. These stories are are real. We, people don't pay us to come on here and tell you these stories. And I, I've noticed uh, I have a, a team. All of us are part of Jonathan's team, but I have my team and Alex, you have your team. And Alex, you mentioned there are people that call you up with these stories that are somewhat hard to believe. And that's what... Thursday nights are about people. We don't look for a whole hundreds and hundreds of people. We bring our personal team here together and it gives you an opportunity to share what your experience have been with your micro daily or engaged global products. And it gives us an, uh, an, an opportunity to be able to actually have an interchange of encouragement when it comes to using these products that's absolutely changing people's lives. So keeping that in mind, we're going to once again open it up if we have any new ones here that uh, perhaps and anything that you want to ask this, uh, this is your family. This is your team. You're all, we're all part of one family here. Uh, anything you would like to share in the way of experiences. And that's not just new ones, anyone on here. Uh, all of these are built in to help you to understand you're not alone when it comes to using your products. Should you decide to not only build your health, but also build a business 
we're there for both sides of the pendulum. So James is going to get us started. James, uh, I know when I first came on, you were already here, and I've always enjoyed your comments. So what do you have to share with our new clientele here on our uh, Thursday night program? Welcome. I used to be sickly off and on, but I noticed when I started taking tobacco daily, hydro, apples and bread bulls, I started to feel better. And now I can truly say for almost a year, I haven't really had nothing major happen to me. Like before, I used to be real sick, but now I feel much better. Excellent, James. I am so happy to uh, actually hear that. I always love to hear your experiences because you always have a little vibrant look on here. I love you with that tie on, too. And something about that tie, I feel like that we're, we're brothers. Yeah. Yeah. All right, then. So thank you so much for uh, sharing that one, James. And uh, James got us started. So the floor is open for anyone that would like to share their experience, questions, or anything else. We're uh, encouraging people as far as experiences, but this is open, especially to new clientele. And uh, perhaps we could share some thoughts together. So the floor is open. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, while you're thinking about your new experiences, how about, Jonathan, we have a, a, a testimonial that we want to play. And we want, we want to uh, basically uh, help you to appreciate how Microdelia has helped other people. Go ahead, Jonathan, go ahead and play the video. And, and please, when you, uh, if you have an experience, please feel free to share it. We'd love to hear from you. Go ahead, Jonathan. Hi, Dr. Basad and Jonathan. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to say that, you know, a lot of times people feel like, you know, young people don't go through a lot. But I did. In my early 20s, I used to have severe pain. And I almost lost one of my two children. Um, or they wanted to deliver her like five months early because I was in so much pain, but didn't know why I was in a lot of pain. And I was diagnosed with uh, severe endometriosis. I had chronic pain day in, day out, and um, un, you know, not natural bleeding uh, that women go through. And um, I was also diagnosed with osteoarthritis. I had it really bad in my neck and in my spine, and it crippled me. It was feel I was feeling like um, I've been electric electrocuted. Shocks just would go down my neck and back, and I couldn't move. And it would come out of nowhere at any given time, no matter where I was at. Um, I was diagnosed with uh, fibromyalgia. Um, I had those, oh my God, from head to toe, I was in pain. Um, rheumatoid arthritis. And I developed PTSD um, when I used to live in Houston, Texas. I was coming home one day from work and um, like to got kidnapped, human trafficking. And from there, I developed um, what Freddie mentioned, agoraphobia, uh, a fear or a form of anxiety. Um, I didn't want to leave my home because I, I was afraid of that happening again. And I was placed on several different medications for anxiety, depression, um, insomnia, because I couldn't sleep. Like uh, Freddie, just thoughts just running through my mind, fear, worries, day in and day out. Um, and I, I just needed help. And I was telling my whole family, I have a large family, eight, eight, you know, seven sisters and five brothers. And my brother Alex and the rest of my family was encouraging me to um, continue to, to pray and, and, and try to look for things. And they would be looking for things. And uh, I never forgot the scripture um, that I read. In fact, I read it this morning. 1 John 5, 14 and 15, it tells us if you ask Almighty God, uh, whatever you ask him, he hears you. And if you, uh, if your prayers are in harmony with his will, he will answer you. And so I continued to pray uh, um, and ask for help because I was in the bed all the time, constantly in a lot of pain and hurting. And 
I just didn't have quality of life. And I was young and in my 20s on up until now, I had continued to hurt. And so finally, when my brother discovered um, Dr. Brassad's products, he told me about it. I got on them. And I tell you, they work. When I got on the CBD, because I read what it's for, it's for anxiety, it's for insomnia, pain, uh, depression. And those are things that I had and I needed that. And uh, so when I got on them, that's what I felt gave me my life back because um, even today, I haven't even taken none of my products, including my CBD. And wow. normally when it rains, because it's been raining all here all day today, um, either the day before I start hurting so bad, head to toe, but no pain. And, and, and it's raining outside, no pain. Oh my God, I just was so happy that wow. I'm not hurting head to toe. And I tell anybody, you know, these products are the real deal. They really work. And Dr. Basai, I just wanted to tell you, there's some words to a song that say, if you say my eyes are beautiful, it's because I'm looking at you. The world is looking at you, Dr. Brassad, and you are beautiful to us. We thank, thank you. you for all the products because they really, really help. I went through so much in my life, losing a lot of family members. I lost my husband, my parents, and three of my siblings, several of them due to cancer. And that took me for a loop. And I'll tell you one thing, being on the CBD and increasing it and all, it helped me because I've been driving since I was 15 years old and I was not the last eight, nine years. I haven't been able to go outside and get in my car and drive my own car. <laughs> and just last week I went to get in my car. My brother came and gave me a jump because I don't go much many places. And he gave me a jump. He said, come on, let's go around the block. And normally if I drive out of, you know, the, neighborhood i live in that's when my anxiety come on and and it's so bad it makes like i'm about to have a heart attack and i go to shaking and sweating and going on but i noticed that that didn't happen i drove out of my neighborhood drove several blocks down the street and i just just tears just swelled up in my eyes because i realized that this cbd is really working for me and i might get my life back and be able to drive and be independent you don't know how it feels to be independent and be able to get in your car and go wherever you want to go and not have you know that hindrance and to be able to get out your bed and want to be around people i didn't want to be around people i just wanted to stay in my house perfectly happy staying in my house but if i had to go anywhere i had anxiety attack because because of having to go outside of my house but it's I, I notice it's getting so much better and i'm starting to have better quality of life so i just want to thank you dr basar and i love you thank you thank you thank you very much oh my goodness dr basar i can't believe it i i'm i'm practically in tears i'm i'm blown away here yeah me too i mean you know <laughs> these kind of people get help what we have I think you and I and everybody should be proud of that uh, the product that I developed uh, has having so much impact on life. I would have been happy even to change one life. Yes. I mean, how many people it's can change one life? You know, that's right. That's right. And no, so, you're changing thousands, and I think you're going to change millions, my friend. Yeah. So I think I'm so thank you very much. Sir. It's 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 overwhelming and it's unbelievable. I mean, all righty, people. When I heard this experience, it touched me. Alex, what about you? Because you were part of uh, the experience that they that uh, you're referring to. In fact, that's uh, that's one of your relatives. Is that correct? That's correct, Bernard. In fact, that's my sister, and uh, I remember telling her about it as well as the rest of the family. And what it has done for her is fulfillment of the hopes I had to help my family stay away from the doctors. And that's what has happened. Wow, wow. And see, isn't that powerful? Give them a hand. That, isn't that powerful to hear this? Because this is the reason 
why so many people now are rejoicing they've actually found this company, yes. these products, the results that they're getting, they're real and they're changing lives. So in that respect, Alex, I want to thank you, first of all, for exposing um, these products to Sharon. I, I talked to her yesterday and today, in fact. And she is still doing absolutely wonderful. So thank you for sharing your sister and uh, keep on sharing it with people. Well, let's keep it, let's keep it going, people. Open up. Anyone would like to share their experiences. Uh, we are definitely open. It's a, yeah, there's an old saying that says, facts tell, but stories sell. So if anyone else either themselves had an experience or perhaps would like to share the experience of someone in their network. Go ahead, Melanie. How are you doing? Hi, how are you doing? So um, doing wonderful. Good to, to have you with us tonight. Thank you. So I just yes. wanted to share, kind of like give an update on um my journey. I um have been taking microdelic, I guess it's about two, maybe two and a half months now, if that much. But um, because I did get off for a little while for a couple of weeks for some reasons. But um what I do notice is that I have like a fibroid. And I think I have more than one. Well, I do know definitely I have more than one, but I noticed that um, even now it's not as pronounced as it used to be. So um, I'm waiting to, you know, get an ultrasound, but it does not feel the same. It's like it's flattened out even more. It's hard for me to even locate um, what was there, in my lower abdomen area. So I'm very pleased with that because I was just really concerned about it. Just, you know, continue to grow and it may hit an organ and, you know, cause other concerns that are there. So, but it just, it's flattened out so much. And I'm just like, wow, I can't believe it, but I do believe it. <laughs> Cause I knew it. I just felt like it was going to happen just based on every other stories. And it just makes sense based on, you know, what's in it. So what other results that I think was going to happen, but this, so I'm very, very, and I'll give a, another update. Once I get my ultrasound, I'm trying to get that scheduled. So I'll have true, you know, numbers and everything of what that looks like to share with everyone. Lovely. Thank you so much for sharing. Sometimes uh, some of these uh, journeys are very, very tough for people. And a lot of times people take micro daily for one thing and it wound up getting results in others. But uh, the results usually as one consistent uh, denominator with, I notice every one I'm hearing from, that common denominator is life is better than it was before they started taking micro daily. So what a beautiful experience. Thank you. We look forward to your update. I'm pretty sure it's going to be very, very interesting. So thank you for sharing. All right, let's move on. Is there anyone else would like to share a personal story before we perhaps play another testimony that could, uh, uh, one that I actually experienced and I'll tell you about, but I'm giving you an opportunity. We would love to hear from you. And there are a lot of people on here who have some beautiful experiences, I'm pretty sure. So let me give it about 30 seconds so that people can build up that little courage to share their story. Anyone else? We're open as far as as, as a uh, group to share our story. Okay. Uh, well, let's go to our Zoom host. Uh, do you have that testimony ready to go? Don't play it yet, but if you have it ready to go, I'd like to share with you this next story that... Uh, once I started getting results and Alex started getting results, I continued to share the products. And I came across a friend of mine, one of my best friends named Daryl. And Daryl is skeptical of everything. When I say everything, I'm talking about everything. And it took me a, a few months to get him to try it. But I kept telling Daryl, I said, Daryl, um, you know, uh, I think these products are going to help you to have a better quality of life. He said, I don't like taking man things except what the doctors tell me to take. But after a little bit of begging, a little bit of prodding, he finally decided that he was going to give these products a try down one bottle. He said, I'll try one bottle of it. He said, but I'm going to do it because we're friends. But what was the results? Jonathan, do you have the experience of uh, Daryl? When, Dar when Daryl, uh, when I finally got him to try it, I happened to go by his house one day. No, I didn't go by his house. He called me. He said, hey, Bernard, you need to come over here. I said, well, what's going on there? 
He said, no, no, you need to come over here. Where the first thing you think is, look, I gave him these products. I hope he's not coming over here because I something happened to him. And then you know, they look to sue you or something. But I said, it's got to be. I said, okay, I'm coming over. And when I came over, Daryl told me a story. And I'd like to share it with you. Uh, go ahead and play his story, uh, John. Uh, I'm Daryl Singleton. Bernard uh, came to me and told me, uh, yeah, I was out of breath a lot, uh, losing uh, air, couldn't speak that well because I was grasping for air. And then I had a lot of swelling, especially in my legs and feet. And uh, it was hard to get him. So Bernard came with this stuff and told me, Daryl, I gotta, you got to try this out and take about three times in the morning, three times in the evening. So I told him I would do it. You know, I was skeptical about it, and, but my feet started going down and all the swelling went out out of the feet and they, they were kind of like black, the feet. And uh, the color came back in the feet. Uh, the feet shrunk down and, and then my legs started going down. But I started feeling a lot of tingling, tingling in my hands. Cause I had, I had real like real big, head, huge hands because of the swelling. Wow. Uh, all that started going down. Uh, what I've been noticing at first was my uh, voice. I was able to speak and, you know, complete a sit, uh, cause I wasn't doing else, you know, so that kind of slowed me down. But other than that, everything, you know, feet and swelling been going down. I, I've been able to walk. I would go to the grocery store and, uh, couldn't make it to the door. That's how bad it, uh, it was. Now I'm able to walk around the grocery store and uh, do what I need to do. Thank you, I'm taking care of my, my triplets. Uh, I got triplets, uh, <laughs> grandkids that I stay with three times a, uh, a week. And I uh, take care of them. Uh, I couldn't even lift them up. <laughs> and I'm a big guy, you know, I'm a big guy. But uh, uh, I don't know, you know. These things have been happening since I've been taking the stuff. And I'm impressed myself because I'm here talking to you guys <laughs> without stressing <laughs> out. Wow. Daryl, that, that's amazing. What um what does what's what's your diagnosis? What does the doctor diagnose you with, if you don't mind sharing? Uh no, I haven't I hadn't been back to the doctor to explain this. Uh I will be going there, but I I don't know what they're gonna say. Mm -hmm. But uh, but the stuff works. Uh, we're real skeptical. I'm still feeling a little tingling in the, like in the hands and feet, uh, but they actually went down. But I still feel like tingles. It's telling me it's telling me something's working. Something's happening. You know. <clears throat> yeah, circulation is the circulation is restoring. Oh yeah. You can tell that. And I'm able to bend down and uh, tie my shoe. Oh, wow. Um, because uh, I wasn't able to tie my shoes. Wow. I wasn't able to put on a, a regular shoe because my feet were swollen. I wear a size 10 and a half, and I was wearing a 13 and something just to get in some shoes. My goodness. You guys got to understand this. This, is, this. this stuff was bad. I mean, and I would sleep. I would try to sleep, sleep off the pain, and, and could do it. But now, you know, now it is. I feel a lot better. So it's hey, a form of. It. You see all this white hair? Yeah. That's that comes from pain. It comes from pain. Yeah, stress. Yeah, yeah. stress, pain, and everything. You know? mm -hmm. But uh, the product works. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed with it. Uh, I don't know what else to say to no. you, but hey, you know, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's like a little miracle. Well, thank you for, uh, for sharing that. So did your, uh, is it lymphedema? Is that what your doctor has said about your condition? Um, no, it's, I had a lot of nerve damage. I had nerve? a total, I had a total hip replacement. And, and that, that too, my hip was killing me. I had a total hip replacement. And then, uh, you know, I was, I was working and working on a piece of bone, 
piece of bone was like hanging on my head. Yeah. Didn't have come out. Uh, doctors were wondering why I was still working, but you know, I was taught that you work, you work for your family till you drop, I guess. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, the thing is they pulled me out of work and then the total hip replacement. Then I had some nerve damage, uh, in the lower lumbar and upper neck area. Uh, and I was having many strokes, uh, stroke it out, you know, mm -hmm. scared my wife to death. Uh, so they did the operation on that. Uh, and, uh, but, you know, I was having a lot of nerve damage and a lot of the swelling and, and stuff uh, comes from nerve damage. Mm -hmm. That's why I was a little skeptical about taking this, these, because I was telling Bernard, I said, this is uh, nerves. You don't heal nerves, right? <laughs> it's nerve damage, you know. So, you know, me and him go at it all the time. But, uh, you know, Bernard, I've been knowing Bernard uh, for about, uh, uh, it's been about 40, 45 years. Mm -hmm. And so me and him go back a way. So he's a very, very good friend of mine. I don't let people, I wasn't going to do this either. Um, but I'm telling you, I'm doing it because him, because he's a real good friend of mine and I trust him. So, uh, you know, me and him is like real brothers. So, Wonderful. and that's why I'm on here today. Otherwise you guys wouldn't see. Me. <laughs> well, thank you very much. And um. Daryl, we're going to share your story with other people. So, in fact, uh, it's already oh. been broadcast all over the place. So, sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. Uh, I'll jump on Bernard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again. <laughs> you, know, you, you know, amazing, amazing story. And uh, Daryl's been doing quite well. You know, uh, and once again, we're, we're open up as far as if you would like to tell your story. I'm sharing these because we have a little bit of time in between. But uh, before we, let's, let's see, we have about 25 minutes left. Do anyone have any other personal stories they would like to share before I go interview someone that help us to appreciate why these stories exist? Anyone would like to share? Okay. Well, we have quite a few people that's on here tonight, and I believe in utilizing our time to the best that we can. So I'm going to ask our um, person to come on, on board, to come up, because I think it's very important for people to realize why these products work so well. Now, there was something that was mentioned for the sake of everybody on here that I hope you caught. He said, the reason why I tried these products, and let me just see whether I can get an audience, somebody who caught this. He said, the reason why I tried these products was what? Did anybody catch what he said? Why did he try those products from me? I don't have any hands. Okay, there would. Okay, go ahead, Benjamin. He said he trusted you. He said he trusted, and something else that that's that's true. And the bench and okay, and I was his friend. Friend. Okay, thank you so much, Lavette Pam. Lad. Uh, I was his friend. The Bat family, do you have something else you want to put in there? Because it was quite a bit said in that. Well, I just really appreciated how he you were not only his friend, he said, but you say he said you were his brother. Uh you all were like brothers. You was uh, a friend uh, and a brother, and he trusted you. And that's why he was willing to uh, even though he was skeptical, he was willing to take the uh, the product. So that's that's excellent. That's why we have to you know, let people know uh, and that way if we're someone that they really trust, they'll at least give it a try and then they'll see that it works. And, and we're friends. And thank you so much, LeVette family. Um, LeVette family. What What uh, is important is when your friend takes these products, you make sure that they're taking them because you want the best results that they can get out of it. Well, and Jonathan, I think that's what you did with me is uh, you made sure that not only I bought the products, but you made sure that I took them right. And I think everybody on here, especially new people, have a question. And here's the question. Um, we've taken these products all of our life. Some people, 30, 40, 50. And I've even heard people in 70, 80, 90 that's coming on here saying how well the products is working for them. So perhaps in a way, since we have so many uh, new ones that are on here tonight, and, and we can be a little shy, and that's fine. This, this is really so you can 
get a chance to see a little bit some of the working parts of specific, specific uh, parts of stories. And why did it happen for Sharon like this? Why did it happen for Daryl like this? Why did it happen for Melody like this? Jonathan, um, uh, you have you were to be the beginning of our group at least in bringing these products to our attention. So why is it that people are getting such great results from these products? All good questions, Bernard. Um, and sometimes it's hard to say. I, I, I had a conversation earlier today with uh, Dr. Prasad. Uh, because we have a little chat where um, folks are asking what we call frequently asked questions. And um, when I get stumped, I just pick up the phone and call Dr. Versailles and say, hey, why, why is this happening? Why do people, does this happen to folks? Why are they getting these kind of results? But, you know, almost every single time, Bernard, it comes back to, comes back to two things, actually three things. It, it involves a conversation about free radicals. It involves inflammation and it involves oxidative stress. Those three things seem to always be in common with almost every single uh, situation. And I hear Prasad say it over and over and over again. I hear Nakuzi say the same over and over and over again. And Nakuzi talks a little bit more about homeopathy, but the, the part that we all know is free radicals, oxidative stress, and inflammation. So you take, um, take Sharon, uh, for example, uh, her story was just dramatic. And uh, we all have maybe had some experience with micro daily, but she had CBD in her story. And it, it took me a while before I began to understand what CBD is, but CBD, every single body, every single cell in the body wants CBD. We have CBD receptors everywhere. And so her body craved it and responded to it very well. So it helped her deal with, with the anxiety. And who knew even Dr. Prasad said he, he never even predicted that it would have an impact on severe anxiety and PTSD to that degree. You know, and this man wrote a book on PTSD. <laughs> so he was shocked. And um, I don't know, it could have been my imagination, but it looked like to me he was choked up there at the end of her story. Because he could have- I, I, I saw the same thing. I, I, I was amazed. I know I, I got a little choked up on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a tough one. That was uh, amazing to hear. Um, but it takes exactly what, um, what, what each one um, mentioned about all of our relationships. You know, if, if we hold back from telling something to somebody because we think that they're going to think that we're trying to sell them something, right. we right. could be doing them a disservice. But if we love them, if we love them, tell them. Tell them. Tell them what's the worst that can happen. They'll say no. You know, I, I remember one day a friend of mine. This is years ago, and I had another product, and a gentleman had um, had AIDS, HIV positive, and I had a product that raised glutathione levels very, very well. And anybody who took that product, they would their glutathione level would go up, their T cells would go way, way up, and when T cells go up, viral count. Goes down. Yeah, it goes down to undetectable levels. And so I, I sat with him. We were early morning. We were, we were going out and uh, doing some volunteer work. And I mentioned to him that this existed. He says, have you ever heard of Dr. Quelly? And funny, funny, Bernard, that I even remember that doctor's name. And I, I and maybe you're already starting to get that it, it etched a traumatic experience. It turned to a traumatic experience for me. So I never forgot it. He said, do you know Dr. Quelly? He began to run down all of Dr. Quelly's accolades. World-renowned HIV specialist, blah, 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 and then blah, blah, and blah. He said, don't you think that if uh, there was something out there would help me, Dr. Quelly would have told me about it? Wow. Wow. He says, I don't want to hear nothing about that ever again. Now, I personally gave his funeral talk about 10, 15 years ago. Wow. Interesting. And so he turned it down and basically, and, and you know what? It's interesting you said that because you, a lot of times when you're excited about products and we have a lot of people on here, we're, we're talking about the health aspect, not the business, the health. 
when people first hear things, uh, they're very, very skeptical. And I've had people that have actually called me lately and says, I really, really needed that. In fact, you had a person on, on uh, one of your interviews that she decided to pro try the products and her sister said, absolutely no. She said, you try it, but I'm, I'm not going to do it. And both of them had, I, I, I'm pretty sure you remember that one, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah they both had the same thing going on with a heart problem. Congestive and heart decided, I'm, Yeah, you remember that? Mm -hmm. I was, when I heard it, I, I know some other people, the same Thing. Yeah. The it's same sad. thing. It's sad. Yeah. Bernard, you have to say to yourself, um, and I hope that that folks who are on the fence um will say this. What do you have to lose? Mm -hmm. Really, what do you have to lose? You already, your doctors have said that there's there's no chance of uh of this resolving itself. Why not just try it? You know, just uh, just give it a try. And uh, I remember, I mean, you dug in and uh, <laughs> you dug uh, yeah, in. Yeah, I dug in. You dug in. But see, that's what happens with professionals. See, when, and, and everybody needs to kind of understand this. A professional has been trained. They're trained and they know their craft. They know their business. And you come along and you're, you're not as qualified of a professional as they are. So you literally lack the qualification to really be able to get past their level of qualification. But um, sometimes it, it's when you care about somebody, you just push past that. You just push past that and you keep going back. Don't let it daunt you. Don't let it you know, deter you. But I remember uh, one time I said to you, Bernard, I said, so let me see if I got this right. You're going to try it and see if you get some results. And you're going to potentially let people that you care about die while you're trying to see if it works. Won't you I give it that same time? Give it to them at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That's so, so funny. See, I've been a paramedic for 27 years, and I'm just one of those people that uh, basically I wanted to see it before I actually introduce it to people. But it's not always the, the right frame of mind to do that. I do not, always, right. not always. Not always. Because, you know, they could be getting the same results. And uh, who knows? For some people, I hate to say it, it could be too late. It, it could, could be. simply be too late. Like here, here's Jackie telling her sister about it at the same time. Jackie Gray is her name. And uh, she said, me and my husband checked it out. My sister had the same condition. I told her about it. I decided to try it. She decided not to. And her sister died just not even six months prior to her telling that story. Her sister died and she's sitting there and the doctor just told her, it looks like your heart's repairing itself, you know? And um, I just saw her recently, by the way. And uh, so I've invited her. She's going to come and tell her story this coming Sunday because this coming Sunday, Dr. Prasad can be talking about the heart. She's wow. Gonna wow. Her this coming Sunday about her heart. You know, it's funny about that, uh, Jonathan. Um, actually, I have a person too that this week they had to go do a heart check catheterization, and uh, the, the CEO of the head blockage because they were having symptoms. And they they uh, actually went to the doctor Monday and they had the procedure and they called me up and they said, you know, my doctor said something to me that uh, they've been on micro daily now for about eight months, but, uh, seven months. And they said, my doctor said something to me. My doctor says that he went in and he was, she was telling me about how it curved, said that went up, went all through the artery, they went through the wrist, went up into the heart, just uh, around the heart, arteries around the heart. She says, um, I do have a, a one total block. And she said, could be been contributing to my breathing heart back when. She said, but I, I told him I don't have any chest pains anymore. I don't have any breathing problems. And the doctor says, well, what's interesting about your total block is your heart have repaired itself. She said, what? He says, where it was blocked at, the artery uh, actually took and then another, it said it created another pathway to the part of the heart that was being blocked. And there's no need for you to put a stent in it now because it has been repaired. He said, I don't know how, but it repaired itself. <laughs> now, it's interesting you said this because you can't really talk people into things. There's no demerit to them. Right. I think it's a matter of they've been introduced to so much junk.
Yeah. You're just part of the junk yeah. that they're uh, hearing from other people. Yeah. So how do you over oh, how do you come there, Jonathan? When and everybody's on here, they 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 love the product. Melanie came out with a beautiful way of uh, a beautiful uh, thing of what's going on with her. How, if if ever, how do you overcome someone and separate from the masses of junk that's being introduced to people out there? How do you get people to really try? You can't get everybody, but how do you, in general, get people to try this? How do you do it? Um, what I do is I try to target the area that the person themselves are specifically interested in. So. Um, and sometimes I'll, I'll ask them very kindly ahead of time, um, if, if there was something out there that could help you, you know, with that bad knee or that knee pain or that arthritis pain or that kidney problem or that liver problem or that eye problem or that whatever problem, if there was something out there that could help you, would you be interested in hearing about it? And they will say, oh, I've heard about everything and I've tried everything. I say, I follow it up and I'll just say, well, but if there was something that potentially could help you, would you want to know about it? And they'll either say yes or they'll say no. If they say yes, how do they say it? The, there's an old, old expression, you, you, have, um, you got one chance to make a first impression. So now you have to really be uh, selective and careful as to what it is that you will choose to give that person as their first impression of the thing that they've never heard of before because they claim that they've heard of everything. So what I often will do is I will take a story like Sharon's story and I'll share that with them or, or one of Dr. Prasad's uh, conferences, the one that's closest related to them and I would usually say to the person, listen, just listen to the first, listen to the first 15 minutes of this discussion. That's how I do it. I say, just listen to the first 15 minutes of this discussion. And, uh, and then you decide whether it's something that you want to check out or not. And guess what? If the first 15 minutes catches their attention, there's another 45 minutes that can educate them. Wow. Wow. Jonathan, that, that's amazing. And obviously it's it's worked for you because you you have quite a few thousands actually in the last six, seven years that uh, have come on this program. And, and, and you know, from what I hear uh, with you, um, a lot of people start, uh, don't necessarily accept it now, but would you say that they remember this conversation sometime down the line and give you a yes, call? They will. Yes, they will. If uh, mm -hmm. if you get if you give the impression, A, that you're desperate. And that you're desperately trying to sell them something here right now, like your next light bill is dependent upon them buying the product right now, that your car is dependent on them buying it right now, then unfortunately, nobody wants to be the, your next check. But if you give them the impression that it really is all about them, you really care about them, and it, it really is a concern for them, then they're likely to respond. So... I believe it's, it's all about information. I think folks, if they're given enough information and you're patient enough, people will make a decision based off knowledge. So share the information with them. Let them hear what other people are, have been experiencing. And, uh, and sometimes a text message with a, with a link to a, a testimonial. Another text message a week or two later, a month later, with another testimonial. Um, I know somebody, a real good friend of mine that I've known for 40 years. I, I waited five or six years before he got some sense. I mean, uh, before he uh, decided to. Uh, uh, Jonathan, I, you, you know what? You've talked about me enough. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, Jonathan, uh, let, me, let, me say, let me say this one right here. And this, this was interesting, too. Um, I, I, there's two things with the new people, because we only have nine minutes. I want these calls to really be beneficial for our networks, our people to go out and talk about these products. I want, there's two things I wanna uh, ask you. Number one is basically what products do you recommend? That person absolutely, sometimes the Dr. Prasad is a wonderful product, but sometimes people just have a cost factor sometimes come in. Yeah. So some of the people on here may wonder if you had to recommend to someone the basic products to try and to get on it and commit. 
uh, for a while, what would what would you say would be the best basic products for everybody on here to introduce to their people? Because in time you can add too. And um, um, if you're seriously on a budget, Bernard, if they're seriously on a budget, seriously on a budget, I absolutely, absolutely will go with what Dr. Prasad formulated for the United States military soldiers. Mm -hmm. That's the basic one. If a person is on a serious tight budget, I, I teach them how to use micro daily original formula. And uh, and I don't I don't waste time telling them about how much better the methylated is or how much better the EMF is. All we focus our undivided attention on is micro daily original. And then sometimes I may give them some suggestions as to how to change their diet and other other ways to maximize their benefits you know, from the product. But if it's about a budget, start with micro daily original. Add to that the probiotic, because if your gut is right, your brain will get right. Then I would Just add to that, I would add the brain boost to that, because let me tell you, you take, I, I, I dare you to take two brain boosts in the morning. <laughs> I dare you. Wow. Wow. And I dare you to take two more at lunchtime. You lit up. <laughs> You lit up. You know that's that's wow. funny. Wow, wow. And and I'm hoping, of course, I'm gonna take. Uh, we only take maybe two or three more minutes to talk about this, and then maybe the last five minutes, if anyone have any question, we'll open that up to them. But um, also, people, it is very important. I need everyone on here to understand. It is very important to kind of nurse people through their experiences yes. with their products. Yes. That's what separates us really from anything out here. Is when you really give attention to them. Right now, I have someone that's been on Dr. Versace, and they're, I, I told them today, it, the person told me, they said they had trouble sleeping and all, and they said, I don't go to sleep at three o'clock in the morning, and they were on a call, and they were on a call like that. <laughs> and it was the funniest deal, because I would get out the call, he said, I know why you're calling me. So that was the funny thing. One of the things that uh, people ask me, too, they said, well, nursing along the way, why is it important? And perhaps maybe just a comment or two on this. Uh, Sometimes I have people to say, you know what, I've been on these products 30 days and I don't feel anything. Have you ever heard anybody say that, Jonathan? Yes, I do. Yes, and, I've, and I've a, heard A it. question I always ask them, I'm not trying to be funny, I'm, I'm really asking them this. I said, well, did you feel when you developed high blood pressure? Did you feel when you were getting your heart problems? Did you feel when you were getting your diabetic? Did you feel when you were going to the room forgetting why you were there? I said, now, if you have developed the last 40, 50, 60, 70 plus years to get to this condition, do you feel it's really fair for you to only give this product a month and you don't feel what you're looking for when the product is developed to work on a cellular level? Give me some final comments on what do you think about that? I 100% agree because uh, there's no indicator light on our body. See, when we drive in our car, you, you see the oil pressure light. You know, the light comes up, the temperature gauge even tells you when the car is reaching a point where it's overheating. But our body, sometimes you, you don't know that you have a disease until you wake up on a gurney sometimes. That's when it manifests. The fact there's a gentleman, um, there's a gentleman, I just, uh, I just uh, heard a, a terrible story about uh, a student pilot who was flying. And he invited his friend, who was an, an instructor, flight instructor, to come along with him because oh, it's all that way. Conditions weren't so good. Goodness. Matt Bernard, the man yeah. was gave him instructions as they took off, and he he fell asleep. So the pilot thought the student pilot thought that the instructor fell asleep. By the time he landed, that man had, had a massive heart attack. He was dead. He was dead sitting next to him. Matter of fact, they had to guide him in. They had to guide the student in because he was dead. He's dead. So yeah. there was nothing that told him, by the way, the next in the next 45 seconds, you're going to drop dead because your heart going to stop beating. So every one of us needs to realize something. Uh, tomorrow's not promised. The next 10 minutes is not promised. And today, life is even more precarious than it has ever been before. Time bombs have been dropped inside our food. Time bombs have been dropped in our water. We're breathing time bombs. It's in our body, just waiting to go off. If we're not doing something right now to diffuse it, then we just wait for the statistics. And it's kind of funny you say that because usually by the time you feel something, it's too late. 
It's too late. That's usually when your second, third, fourth stage of you're on your way to the ground. You you on your way to the ground. But 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 I have to say, um, some of the things I've been hearing in our calls, and those of you that have had the uh, concern to be on the calls, when I heard about how Micro Daily gives us our sales the strength to fight viruses and bacteria and stuff. When I, and I was wondering why so many of my people, they, they, it doesn't stop you from getting the uh, viruses and all, but it, what it does, it helps the ride to be with uh, less turbulence. <laughs> it, it get a lot less turbulence to it, get a yep. lot of fight to it. You and got, all you, of my people have said that when they develop this, they have a shorter stage of the sickness. Exactly. So a lot of stuff coming out of this. I'm hoping that everybody on here is getting a point or two about the gold that they got in their hand. You have gold, G-O-L-D, you have gold. Yes, indeed. And yes, indeed. Why are you trying to beg people to share your gold? You have to look for people that's looking for you. That's right. Okay, Jonathan, I think we've almost run out of time here. Maybe, uh, do anyone have a question or two for Jonathan before we uh, say goodnight? Go ahead, Kenny. Hello, Jonathan. Hello, sir. Remember me? <laughs> hey, listen, we haven't had the opportunity to talk. However, there's some very important things I would like you to ask Dr. Prasad. Now, instead of talking about it here, because the words I can't, they're, they're chemical stuff, and I can't really read them all that well, and I'm not trying to embarrass myself here. Anyway, would it be okay if I either email you or text you these particular chemicals, and then maybe you can get the results I'm looking for? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. My, my uh, I don't know if I've given you my email address or not, but it's real easy. It's eg at jonathanejones.com. And we'll put there that in the chat. chat. Okay. There you go. There Sounds you go. great. I will be sending that off before the end of the day. Yeah, no problem at all. Okay, thank, thank, you, sir. thank you. Alex had a, had a question before, too, uh, Bernard. You want to see oh, if you go on the edge, Alex? Uh, Alex like talking muted. I um I had a uh, a a very short uh, testimony video I wanted to show. It takes about two minutes, but we could save it to next time because I can see how time has uh, uh, ran out. Yeah, you know, because if, if you got it, well, that'd be wonderful to show that on Thursday next week. Thursday, that'd be great. Okay, yeah, Absolutely. it's uh it, it can be it can wait to then, and that'd be great because it's an awesome experience, and it's um uh, it's one that's that's been been out there for a, a long time. Wow, most people have not seen yet. So let's do it next Thursday. Wow. How's that? Excellent. Okay. I'm excited to be here next Thursday to see it. So Jonathan, in closing, it is now seven o'clock. We honor everyone's call, uh, time and our network. We gave everyone the opportunity to ask any questions. Hopefully some of the things, um, uh, some of the experiences will help you to stay on the system. If you have not tried the CBD and all, I've read, I read articles this morning about one in five pe uh, children today could uh, contemplate suicide. That's and, right. Uh, that 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 is a crazy number, and uh, the anxiety level is even uh, more staggering. Three out of five are now going through massive depressions, and our products address all of these conditions. And we'll talk about that at another time. But it's right. to help you to appreciate people. People ask me, "Where do you find your clientele?" Look to your right and look to your left. Look there to your you front. Go. Look to your back. There, everybody Everywhere. out here is ex suffering some type of anxiety, some type of medical problems, and all. And all you need to do is open up your mouth. I'll close my statement with this, Jonathan. I'll let you finish. You can have a lot of good things in your head, but nobody ever know it unless it make it to your mouth. Back to you, Jonathan. Absolutely. I 100 percent agree with you, Bernard, and um, and cannot echo those words uh, loudly enough. Um, right now, uh, folks, and, and next, in fact, next week on on Tuesday, um, we're going to be talking a little bit about what you can do to protect yourself from what's happening right now. Um, there, there's information coming out about how the um, what they call SARS-CoV-2. Uh, is affecting us, right? Um, COVID-19 is a very real problem. And many people right now are trying to figure out how to get the effects of the, of the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein out of their body. And there's four things, four things you can do to do that. 
I'm going to give you that list of those four things and the clinical studies to prove it. A micro daily is right in the middle of it, but that's going to be part of the discussion for next week. And by the way, CBD is also right there in the middle of it. If you want to be ahead of the game right now, you make sure you call customer service and add micro daily. I don't care which one, but make sure you add CBD to your subscription right now. Um, Bernard, guess what? Guess what's, what's uh, back order right now? I saw, I saw it. Uh, actually, two of them are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's some EMF and probiotic. Yeah, but what? Guess, guess what else is people having trouble getting? CBD? Gummies. Oh, yeah. You know, that's the reason why I stocked you know up. Why? I, why is that? Because we all stocked up. But just like you just said, we all stocked yeah. up. And the company got hit with a wave. Wow. I guarantee you right now, folks, they're going to be running out of CBD. I guarantee it. You know, so yeah, before I first thing you just get yours, you know, make sure you get yours right now, because as the word gets out about how valuable it is, it's going to uh, they're going to run short on it. I'm pretty sure of that. So, yeah, but I heard in 30, in 30 days, they get a bit bigger manufacturer to manage. They said they have never had a group like this to get so much product. So it's, it's not a bad thing, people. It tells the company, get ready. Because the best is yet to come. We are now soldiers <laughs> that are out there actually fighting for good health. That's right. Thank That's you, Jonathan. Right. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank, Thank you, for you Bernard, me for all that you've done. You've done a phenomenal job, Bernard. And listen, folks, this coming Sunday, remember. And um, Alex. We're, we're interviewing, yeah, and Alex. We are going to be interviewing Dr. Versailles this coming Sunday. Uh, and it's going to be about heart disease. Dr. Versailles has written a book on heart health. And he's going to be breaking it down for us. So you want to bring the number one killer today. Heart disease is still the number one cause of death in this country right now. So bring people that you care about to this meeting this coming Sunday. We'll see you Sunday at 5 o'clock Eastern time, everybody. Y'all have a good night. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. You're quite welcome. Good night, everyone. Good Thank night. you for coming.